this is cons or whatever dragon thing dragon's maze i don't even remember what it's called anyways in chaos draft you're looking to draft individually powered individually car good cards as opposed to decks Pewdie pewdiepie made a video on mtga all right well i mean that's great <laughs> i'm sure it's wonderful Black Cross, hey, thanks for that eight months. All right, so again, we're looking for individually good cards as opposed to strategies. And so I'm looking at either Ruthless Death Fang here as a 4-4 four, four flyer for six. Odds are I'm probably not going to get much use out of its ability. And Skywise Teachings. There's also an Enduring Victory here, but the Skywise Teachings is the fun card. I'll go with the fun one. Ooh, now we have Scourge. Wait. Legions? I, I don't even remember. <laughs> I don't remember the set names. I know it's the Morph... Morph block, whatever. That's pretty funny, yeah. There are literally... No non-creatures. But this pack has some very good cards. Skin Thinner and Timberwatch Elf are both amazing. Um, well, I think I'm just going to take the Elf here. Although, I think the Skin Thinner probably goes with the Skywise Teachings deck more. Maybe we do that instead. Because you don't think Blue-Green is going to be the deck that's going to be mo mainly non-creatures, but Black-Blue, absolutely, it can be some control deck. It's still good. Any Any creature like this that's cheap and has this type of effect is worth it. That's why I like all the one mana one ones uh, in white, you know, that pump randomly. All right, now we have Eventide. There's a Canker Abomination, a Shrewd Hatchling. I like this one because this is the one that gives Shroud, right? Oh, no, no, that's the blue green one. Never mind. I might actually just take the Canker Abomination here over Dream Thief. I mean, this, uh, this pack doesn't have much removal or anything. Actually, never mind. The Harvest Quillian's probably better than the Canker. No, that wasn't a word. That wasn't uncommon. All right, now we have this Master set that I can't remember the name of. Riverwheel Aerialists, I guess. Bobble is 16 tickets. This is Swiss. This is Phantom. Aerialists is just the best card there. 4-5 flying for 6, good rate. Ooh, a child of Alara? Oh, baby. Suicidal Charge is pretty good. Maybe not in this format. I might just take Constricting Tethers. It's a weird trick that cycles. That was one of the Alara sets. Oh no. Ooh, never mind. Chittering Rats. Easy, baby. Look at that. That's just value. Razor Golem, probably best card here. Alright, well, I first picked a Skywise Teachings, and we have not... Oh my god, a Silent Departure. This card's so good. Innistrad. Oof. Ah. <coughs> 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 uh. Flying Men? It's not awful. Frost Breath is more in line with Skywise Teachings, though. I don't think this card is very good. But I'm not going to take Flying Men. This doesn't, that doesn't seem like it does anything in our deck. 1-4 Flyer for 3? Sure, get in. I need to get, like, 8 minimum for me to want to play this. Eight other. This, these two are kind of a package. Chaos Draft is 24 individually unique packs. You never get the same pack. The packs you get are random. Well, Skin Thinner is actually a two drop, or three drop. But I moved it here so it doesn't mess up my converted mana cost thing. 
I think they're different for each pod. I don't know. Somebody, somebody was talking, or some people were talking about what sets are included in this one. I'm not sure. I mean, this card is fine. I think all the invokers are somewhat playable. This has cycling, though, which means we can just throw it into any deck, no problem, if we want. Any opinions on Nexus Ban? I think overall it's a net positive. As long as this creature is blue, it gets plus one plus one shroud. See this type of card where it's good in some formats, it's just so scattered, scatterbrained, you know? Cause there might be no graveyard synergies from your opponent the first time around, and then I like Butcher's Glee. Do not like magnetic flux. Alright. I'm gonna try to run the Skywise Teachings. I might not run the Clout. I'm not gonna say that was a very good first pack for us, but. Alrighty. Good pack. Got another Innistrad. This is, uh. Uh, whatever the second one is called. I can't, I can't even remember. <laughs> uh, Dark Ascension, thank you. I think we take Reap the Seagraph to go along with our Skywise Teachings deck. Not huge on Vengeful Vampire. It's annoying, but it's a little bit slow. Chant of the Skiff Spang also fine. Skiff Sang. So let's just take the Reap. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Easy Hirobi's Whisper? Yes. Well, there were actually quite a few creatures, well, maybe not quite a few, but there were creatures that had 13 power in that format. It was very flavorful. Also, 13, you know, unlucky number. Handsome Tom! Thank you for the 27. Unlikely to ever uh, splice. But we could get lucky. Some comedy gamma block nonsense. Ooh, wanted scoundrels. All right, I'll take it. This could just win the game every time. If I just have this on turn two. <sighs> Ravenous rats. Sorry, Stormcrow. There's a shock in the pack. Then Tuco disciples, very good. Cloud chaser's fine. Alright, we got the Chittering Rats and the Ravenous Rats. Hopefully we can get one of the sets with like some random rat synergies. I should have taken a nap. <laughs> I should have taken it. I spent an hour fixing up my car today too. I had to take apart uh, one of the one of the front bumper parts and uh, replace a light and a few other pieces. Sold that with the 29 months! <laughs> Hello, friend. Pack with rat? Pack rat? I am not a car guy, though, so... Anytime I fix something with my car, it's because I googled it. And there was a video on how to do it. Uh, okay, guilds? Oh, people... People don't understand that Karu is just good. Karu just good. That's the nice thing about going into Chaos Draft. The last time I played a uh, a sanctioned Chaos Draft, I went 5-0, and and that qualified me for the event, which got me that foil sheet of whatever that set was. Like, since I've played the Limited for basically every set it's available for, or it's been possible for, you know. I can recognize what is good out of specific sets, whereas other people are like, they don't, you know. Humble flex. <laughs> a product of me playing so much magic for a long time, I suppose, more than anything. I remember this card being okay. 
thresholds it becomes a 4-4. Four, four. This is Judgment. Might just take the Hapless Researcher. I seriously doubt Envelop is going to be more than a sideboard card. Yo, what's up, Several B? Thanks for that Twitch Prime. <laughs> yeah, the perks of playing Madden, well, since before 2000, honestly. I don't have any Madness synergies. I'm just going to take the Wolf. Cypher is such a weird mechanic. I'm just going to take the Psychic Strike. Although this is good on any flyer. Like this and Skywise Teachings is kind of insane. Cypher with Skywise Teachings. I need to pick up more flyers if I'm going to take this. Otherwise I just take the counter spell. But let's try this out because this is cute. Ooh, what? This pack is great. Drag Under is one of my favorites. Um, I mean, Unhollowed is good. Dragoon is just a solid 2-drop. Although, again, less synergies with Madness or Discard effects, so this is probably just a 2-2 a with random upside. Just small, slight upside. Drag Under is better for the Skywise Teachings deck, but I think Hollowed is so good. Ah, whatever. I'll take the Drag Under. Basically, I'm only going to take Flyers. Yeah, it's not Repulse, but then again, nothing is. Super sick bird! Thanks for that, Twitch Prime. Appreciate you. So this is not going to be very good in our deck if we have very few creatures, but then no, these other cards are playable anyway, so we'll take the scab. Okay. All right. Again, not very good if we don't run many creatures, but... Shorekeeper? Alright. I'm probably playing that in this deck. Sorry. Oh, I was going to say, start, sorry, Stormcrow, but if I'm running Hands of Binding... I mean, you don't want to run bad cards to make your cards better, right? So We still have another pack to go. We could get anything. Literally. I always thought this was a funny picture. It's like some weird centaur thing with, like, I don't even know, a dwarf. Multiform Wonder. You guys want to go back to Kaladesh? What do we have here? Oh! Should I take the self-assembler? Oh, man. How good is that going to be? There's also a Whirler Maker here, and this type of just continuous card advantage could prove very good, but I think if I took the Wonder here, there's like a small chance I could wield a Live Fast. There are like five, leg four leg legitimate picks here. The Wonder, the Whale, the Maker, the Live Fast. I don't think the Wonder wheels, though, because this is fine by itself. It's, it's a lot worse, obviously, if you don't have any other energy production, and it's not super likely that you're going to get more on this, this wheels. It's still good, though, but yeah, I'm fine taking the whale. The whale's kind of like the wanted scoundrels. If I just play this on turn four and they don't have anything to deal with it, it will just end the game. Those are some powerful magic cards. Guess I'm taking the hired poisoner. <laughs> Could take hypothesis on look to splash, but I don't think so. Same goes with the underrealm lich, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ignore them. Ooh, dead drop. Sign of glacier is also very good. I like a dead drop. This card's nice. All right, we have a windrake here. I don't remember what this does. It's fine. I actually like. Crypt Incursion quite a bit, too. Oh, another Cypher card! <gasps> mm, I don't have any gates. I could have taken the Is It Guild Gate from the last pack. <laughs> I'll just take the Windrake. I mean, Windrake is more than fine in this type of format. It's probably above average. Can you imagine the power level of most decks are going to be kind of low? Oh. 
Gut Wrencher Oni. 5 4 trample for 5. At the beginning of your upkeep, discard a card if you don't control an ogre. I almost certainly don't have any ogres. It is a large card, though. But we do have Divination here, otherwise known as Council of the Soratami. Uh, Kami of Twisted Reflection, also fine. It's just, again, another 2 2 with random upside. I mean, this card is big. It fuels my delve. I guess that's slight upside. <laughs> Oh god, take Reach through the Mist so I can splice with the uh, Harobi's Whisper. Boom, broke it. Nah, I'll take the fatty. Cancel over nothing? Alright. Probably have a few too many 3 drops, but oh well. So how good is this Skywise Teachings? One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, plus the Silent Departure and the Reap also have Flashback. Not bad. Alright, Fairy Invaders is a decent one. I'm actually really um, impressed by this card, Duty Bound Dead. Like, it's super annoying. It's got Exalted, so it is relevant. Encrust is a removal spell, is also good. I kind of like just taking the Flyer, though. Because the removal, if you think, or the the flyer, if you think about it, is removal. Do I have any combos with this? I have ravenous rats and chittering rats. It's also a way to save a creature from a removal spell. All right. Well, we wield nothing. <laughs> Didn't get the Live Fast, didn't get the Multiform, didn't get the Whirler Maker. We're not going to play any of these cards. Dazzling Lights Wield. Am I going to play that? Probably not. 2-8 for 5? Better than uh, Crocodile. No, that was the Self Assembler from the same pack. Uh, this isn't cube, this is chaos draft. Might run the smuggler here over like the shorekeeper. And then just find one more cut. I think frost breath might be the cut. <laughs> Kami wield too. This deck's fine. It's a deck. It's, it's got blue and black cards. What's the best card in this deck? Um, we have a few good cards. I like Silent Departure a lot. Scoundrels and Skin Thin are both good. Uh, Whisper's good. Whale's good. Aeolus Dead Drop good. Flight from Seattle to LA diverted to remove disruptive passenger. Is there, is that really what happened? <laughs> That's funny if true. All right, how's our hand look? Eh, fine, missing a second black source, but otherwise fine. Yeah. We did have a lot of turbulence on our flights. Would I do a Homelands draft if I had the opportunity? Yep. Draft all the Alia piles. Easy. GG. Oh my god. We could do it. We have the combo. We have the Smuggler and we have the Chittering Rats. If I draw a Swamp next turn, I'm just going to start doing it. Please Swamp me. No! Oh, is that Fallen Empires? My mistake. Uh, I think I have 9 or 10 for the Skywise Teachings. 
I believe that is the case. Meh, they took my rat. What a poopy butt. Poopy butt rat taker. Baleful Eidolon. Okay. Um. I mean, honestly, I, I guess I don't even care if the smuggler dies at this point. No blocks. Oh, they have a plan. Alright, so we're gonna float. I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just cast. Play Basilica. Bounce Island. Whenever a permanent other than Last Laugh is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, Last Laugh deals one damage to each creature and each player. When no creatures on the battlefield sacrifice Last Laugh, it is like a really weird pestilence. So I think it wipes the... If I attack, it wipes the board. <laughs> uh... Alright. Well. We do it on our terms. Didgeridoo! Siphon life! Where's my beckon apparition now? Aha! Got him. I have to tap the creature to flicker. And so flickering doesn't do anything there because... Um, then the smuggler itself is still going to die anyways. So if I just attack with my 2-2s, two the opponent blocks with Baleful. Main deck, Desolation? Interesting. Wait, do I not have it? What? Oh, this is 5 to flashback. Oh, I thought it was 4. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Alright, I have been assassinated. This is indeed a chaos draft. Are you nomin on a cookie? What the heck, shrivel? Pono was right, their deck is weird. Jank weird. Three two. Oh, Hirobi's Whisper <laughs> versus Mono Black. Uh, oh, well, that's a card. There's my bomb. Can you beat it? The answer is no. Four five four five flyer. The stuff of nightmares. All right, so Skin Thinner is probably a cut here, as is our Whisper. Uh, you know what? Get in there, Crow. Eat Crow, as they say. I can probably just bring in the Headless Scab, too. Yeah, just two random Dirtles would be good enough. That sounds fine. Three drop, four drop, five drop, six drop. Done. Quick sand. Wither, that means my creature deals damage in the form of minus one, minus one counters. So if my opponent blocks my harvest gwilin with a three three, the three three then becomes a uh, one one. It's like kind of a weird infect. Nozumi Cutthroat's a good card, too. Too bad Fear is not very good versus me. 
Oh yeah, all chaos drafts are just wow. I did not expect them to sack a land to do that. All chaos drafts are just memory lands. Don't you diss my gray ogre? This is chaos draft. Gray ogres are like a C plus. Ooh, the scrib nibblers. Uh, this card is always annoying as hell. Alright, can you beat a 4-3 flyer? Into a 4-5 flyer? Into a 3-3 flyer? Into a 1-4 flyer? Scrib Nibblers is one of those cards that... What? O-Stone? Uh, okay. Well, they sacrificed a land, and it doesn't look like they're playing one here. All right, I'll hit you. Attack for seven. <sighs> I ain't scared. I'm just play out all my fat stuff. <clears throat> This should have attacked. Can't block anyways. They've had enough. I played some below average creature, but then I played again, or then I played nothing but above average creatures. Wintro, thanks for that thirty eight. How's our hand look? Pretty good. Oh, opponent put me on the play. All right, I like it. Can I draw Skywise Teachings, please? Evolving Wilds, all right. Well, we're going to hold the skin thinner for now. We'll play it Morph next turn. We don't know if they're playing black yet. I imagine two opponents in a row aren't playing mono black. Duh! <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Oh, Bear of Silence. 2-1 flyer for 2. Smelly fish. You so smelly. Thanks for the 18 months. Ooh, a weather seed totem. That's a good card. I am a fan of that. Uh... This doesn't add colorless, so bouncing this isn't awful, but I think we're just going to pass the turn here. Hold up cancel, since they can have access to 5 mana next turn, and if they don't do anything relevant, we can just cycle away the constricting tethers. Also, we could just hold the constricting tethers as it is decent with our death toucher, but... Wicker bow elder. Alright, good enough. Have I been bamboozled? Need to hit a swamp there. Uh... All right. Well, let's attack with both and see what they do. I'm debating if what I, whether I want to use the tethers on their root wall if they block, but it looks like they're not going to do that. I mean, I guess I just bounce their flyer. Well, 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 look who finally decided to show itself. So no triple green forest. In just forests, I mean, so they can't uh, animate the totem and smash. 4-4 four, four, for 5, yes. 
I think I'm supposed to cycle this. We really just want to hit a swamp. Swamp, please. Swamp, and I have two Doom Blades. Okay. Uh, that's a lot of trample damage. Okay, trade, trade. Take two, three, four, five, go to ten. Did I just mess up? Alright, well, let's get this crap online right now. I don't think I'm supposed to just take the hit. So we have the 2 1 flyer and totem in hand. I mean, really, I can't lose this game if I hit a swamp. All right, there's the totem. I expect the 2 1 flyer is going to come out. They can attack for three if they want to. Jarvis K, J3. Thanks for that three months. I wish you knew how to equip me too. Wait, what? Disfigure! Not very nice. I'm at seven. They play the flyer. I need to draw a swamp still. They're going to animate the totem next turn. We are in bad shape, kids. This game was so easy if I had just a second swamp. Skin Thinner would have killed something already. Pearlby's Whisper would be online. Just need to hit a swamp next turn. It's about time. We're hoping that they don't have another land in hand. Because if they can recast the weather, weather Seed Totem this turn, that's pretty bad for us. <clears throat> no! Turns out a 5-3 Trampler that returns to hand when it dies is pretty good versus me. So that you can just... Oh, Crypt Rats? That card is also busted beyond belief. Holy moly. We've seen a lot of rats in this draft. Yeah, Crypt Rats is absurd. Meh. Run it back. Run it back. We're fine. <laughs> to build that team or mana base. Uh, I have. I've only played a few games of it. Emily's been playing a lot, though. She got two chicken dinners last night, apparently. Mm. Probably a mulligan. Okay, down to five. Guess we're dead. Guess I'll just die now. It's fine. Ugh. I have no attachment to this game. I do have attachment to taking a nap, but I have 40 minutes until my stream, so I'm going to be able to finish this draft. Um, but... After that, I'm going to take a break, and then I'll be back at 3 on the Magic Channel, is the plan, I believe. Excuse me. Ugh, no blue mana. This does have a Tendrils in it to cycle, though, so I'm going to keep on the draw. Uh-oh. God, nothing but black decks. What the heck? I'm getting super bamboozled here.
Do 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 do. Okay. Since we drew another untapped land, I don't need to play the Basilica this turn. I think I just cycle the tendril, uh, tendrils EOT. Espa. Gut Rancher Oni. All right. Should we drag that under? I guess. Counter? Womp womp. Wow, negate. All right, you got me. <laughs> it's my ugly Christmas sweater. What are you talking about? Okay, take two here. Ugh. We're keeping pretty even on the race since the last Raider's been pinging them. Two five flyer. Buh? All right, five four trample. Go. Uh, I have to stream till six, but otherwise, yeah, Emily and I will be heading out this evening. Mm -hmm. Meh, I don't need ogres. Five four trample, still a five four trample. My drivers are trustworthy. I remove their tongues myself. Myself, rather. Fencer click from Morning Tide. All right, I shall take two. I shall discard this swamp that they know about. I will go to combat. Attack for five. All right, no blocks. Well, play a four five. These are phantom, yeah. Double blue, maybe they have a tap down effect for my aerialist. Oh, boomerang. I see. Okay. So let's put me down to five. Planes, one card in hand. So I'm going to actually discard the aerialist here. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. No, that doesn't matter. Never mind. No, because I'm going for the kill anyways. Yeah, I'm going to discard the flyer. That is a pretty good draw, too. Wow. Wow. Well, because I'm going for the Butcher's Glee this turn, so I wouldn't have the mana to cast Aerialists anyways, but I would have mana to cast the Gwilion. All right. But then we drew the Dead Drop, so even if they did have something, we were still going to be okay, I guess. All right, run it back. I only got a half an hour before I have to move to the Magic Channel, so... Finish off this draft. Ugh. Go get some caffeine or take a quick kitty nap. And then we will be playing... I think I'm going to build the Teamer Storm deck on uh, Arena, in addition to just trying to grind number one limited again. I've been stuck at number two for... days now. It's like two years, dude! I know. Turn two wanted scoundrels. Keep. This sounds great with an island. Holy moly. Also, this turns into a 3 1, a 3 2, rather. Try to reach it again, as in continue to grind to it. I haven't reached it yet, no. Boop, 
You're bamboozling me. Ah! I'm dead. I'm dead. Soul Scourge. Well, I'm just getting crushed here, aren't I? Turns out Wanted Scoundrel was not very good when both their first two plays could trade with it. <laughs> Alright, quick concession, quick concession, let's just go to the next game. Okay, here we go. Here. We. Go. What's up, cry bun? Alright. Swamps. Islands. Castable spells. Keep. Alright, that was a good draw. Whoop. Oh, I got another Frostburn wheel again. Weird again. I guess you do, buddy. I guess you do. Flashback, dead drop, nonbow. Oh, they have the same curve. <laughs> same curve as last game. All right, let's just Silent Departure, and then we can Harobi's Whisper as well, if we want to. I think we're just going to take the hit for one, though. Do do doot. Mommy's home. Well, not home, but... Oh my... <gasps> Are you kidding me? That's absurdly busted here. Annex my crew? Oh my god. That is so good. What the fu? That is so good. Also, it's double on color for them. Oh, holy moly. That's super disgusting. Help? What the fu, dude? Dude, it's fixing their mana for their double white card. And apparently they have boomerang in their hand. Oh my god. So gross. Okay, so you're saying there's a chance. They have 3-2 in their hand, as well as a few other cards unknown. Yeah, taking four. Three, two. Okay, there's that. Land, three cards in hand. All right, well, let's lead with this. And so if they do boomerang, then we can dead drop next turn and get them. As expected, good. I think I'm still going to attack here. Just in case they have enough mana now to play the Felidar and another creature, I want their other creature off the battlefield. Okay, two cards in hand. Flying? No, this is a creature? Hopefully it's just a removal spell. <sighs> Flying. Alright, that's good. This dead drop they just might concede to. No! No creature! Gah! 
I mean, why would they block there ever? Obviously, I have something. <laughs> Question is, do I double block now in Butcher's Glee? <sighs> I guess. Damage? All right, all right, all right. That wasn't very bad. What did I do? Murderous compulsion, sure. This is a 4-4 four -four with threshold, and I do have six cards in my graveyard right now. But I think this is just too good to not dead drop. Right. Eh, better just do the full price. Because we still have the C graph in our graveyard too, so. All right, all right. Well, considering I got annexed on my Karoo on like turn four or five. Oh no, what the hell? Oh. Just a 3 6 NBD. Whale wins again. That annex was a blowout, though. Thankfully, we drew enough lands afterwards. All right, friendos, that'll be it for me today on my channel. I will be streaming on the Magic channel in about 20 minutes. This channel is sponsored by Inked Gaming. Go to inkedgaming.com for awesome playmats, dice bags, and more.